Today we have with us Dr. Chaitra Anand, a famous, famous cosmetic dermatologist of the country, one of the top cosmetic dermatologists. Okay, she practices in um, Bangalore and uh, she is the founder, CEO and MD of Cosmo Derma Clinics and Medi Spa. She was concerned about her hair. I met her in Bangalore, I think around four months back and here she used to get DHI done with us. So let's hear it from her, why she selected us, why DHI and why us. Thank you. Um, I've been thinking about having hair loss treatment for the last two years because that's when I started noticing that there was some thinning of hair on the top of my scalp and towards the back of my head. And I've been researching and I tried some non-invasive uh, treatments like stem cell therapy, invasive therapy, but it didn't do much to my scalp. So then Viral, Dr. Viral was in Bangalore a few months ago, so I went up to DHI, had a consultation with him, and I felt that this seemed very appropriate and what I was looking for. So what I did then was I researched a lot and I did meet a few other surgeons and went through what other techniques and options available. And it didn't matter to me whether it was in India or abroad, all I wanted was to have the best possible procedure, safest with the most effective implant rate. So then after all the research, I decided I'll have Dr. Burrell do it for me. Um, he's one of the pioneers of DHI in India, and he's been doing this for over six years. So, you know, as a doctor, I can say the more you do something, the better you get at it. So I figured this was the best bet. So I'm here today at Mumbai at his clinic to have my hair transplant done uh, to the DHI method because first and foremost, I'm scared of the pain more than anything. Even being a doctor, needles, pain, everything scares me. So this is supposed to be as painless as possible, just maybe mild discomfort. I'm yet to undergo the procedure, this is what I've been told. And also that there would be no downtime because I really can take um, time off from my clinic because I have four centers that I run in Bangalore and I lecture internationally and I have a lot of lectures coming up. So that's why I chose DHI because it has relatively less downtime or no downtime. I'm here, I can flew in this morning from Bangalore and I'll be flying out tonight after the procedure. So I've been researching through the internet and I've been speaking to other doctors like dermatologists and plastic surgeons who are friends of mine and everybody seems to think that DHI does have a one-up on other techniques mainly because you know when you do a DHI you're using a very small punch or implanters so what happens is the trauma to your scalp is very less and if the trauma is less the healing time is faster so you don't have to worry about too much about the uptake because there will be a higher rate of uptake of your implanted hair because the trauma to these areas are much lesser. So this was one of the main reasons why I chose DHI as opposed to like the other techniques like strep or FUE and stuff like that. Now with Dr. Viral, I researched quite a lot and I spoke to a few patients of his who've had it done with him and I saw some of those before and after pictures that they had and stuff and I met a lot of other plastic surgeons and dermatologists who do this but it seemed very convincing after I met Dr. Desai because you know he was able to answer all my questions very clearly and he was able to put me out of all my doubts and I didn't have any doubts or questions left after I met him and seeing the setup that they have it seemed very professional and so I decided to go with it. There is a DHI center which is about a five minute walk from my clinic in Bangalore. But um, I did consult Dr. Viral there, but you know, I wanted someone who is the best. And Dr. Viral Desai is the pioneer of DHI in India and the medical director. And also he's done a lot more procedures than all of his other surgeons and doctors put together. So I was more comfortable with an experienced hand because as a doctor, I can tell you, the more times you do the procedure, the better you get at it. And that's why I've come up to Bombay today to have this procedure with Dr. Desai. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad Chaitra mentioned that she did a lot of research and she decided to go in for DHI and to come down to Mumbai to get it done. Because in DHI we strongly, strongly believe in education, innovation and transparency. What I tell all my clients is please educate yourself, learn about all the techniques that are available. All the clinics, there are more than 3 million clinics worldwide which provide hair. Learn about each and every clinic and then select which is the most suitable for you. By innovation, we all know that DHI has innovated and has patented certain implanters like the punches as well as the implanters, okay? And these are the innovative things which has taken us one step above the rest. Uh, I'm so glad Chaitra mentioned regarding research and education. 
because in DHI we follow three very simple and honest principles of education, transparency and innovation. Let's go back to the third principle is innovation. We have developed the DHI patented implanters which helps to put us, put the graphs in the proper depth, direction and angle giving you a 100% natural result every single time you perform this procedure. Let's talk about education. Education, we are here not to sell you a hair transplant but we are here to educate you regarding all about hair, all about the other methods, everything which is available and then you select what you find the most suitable for yourself. And, and of course transparency, every single thing we do, we tell you right from the beginning right till the end, there is nothing, uh, no cheating in terms of graphs, no cheating in terms of hair, everything has been mentioned. And Dr. Viral, he's the one who pioneered DHI in India. He's been doing this for over six years now and he's done numerous procedures that he's actually lost count of because that's a good thing because the more you do, the better you get at these procedures. He's also a trainer for DHI and he trains all the other doctors and certifies them in India. So who better than the master himself is what I say. So that's why I chose Dr. Desai and I'm here in Bombay today to have my DHI done and I hope that it's everything that it promises to be. I've just finished my procedure. It took us about six hours and I was extremely concerned before I started with the procedure about the pain and discomfort but I must say that it was extremely good. I had no problem at all. In fact, I slept for about two and a half hours of my first procedure which was the extraction. Um, I was extremely concerned about the pain and discomfort but in fact I slept for at least two, two and a half hours through the procedure initially because I didn't feel anything. Just a very mild prick which was very 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 tolerable even though I'm native phobic just because they iced the area for me and after that I couldn't feel anything at all when they were extracting my hair roots and stuff and then afterwards when they were implanting again a little bit of nerve block um, which I felt but after that I was completely fine and right now I've just come out of procedure maybe five minutes after coming out of procedure you can see that I'm quite fine and there's nothing there's a little bit of redness on my scalp which I'm sure will go down in another two days um, the whole team was very very nice I was made to feel very comfortable um, all my questions are answered and I've been given post-care advice and all the procedures that I need to do to take care of my scalp and I'll be coming back for my review in a few days time and tomorrow I'm going to come and get my um, donor area in the back washed here at the clinic and I think it was fantastic I mean I, when I started it took me about two years to decide to have this procedure four months after I met Dr. Viral Desai for a consult to work up the courage but now I think why did I waste so much?